In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can access your Mac OS in iPad. And I'm not talking about that you need to be in same room or same internet. It may also be possible that you are sitting thousands of kilometers away and you still can access your Apple hardware in your iPad and running desktop grade apps with ease. So let me show you how you can do this kind of setup. Okay, so now here we are in our Mac OS screen. Okay, so what I am going to do here is I am first of all going to install a browser known as Chrome, which I am hoping that you already have installed it. But if in case you have not, then you can simply visit Safari and look for Google Chrome. Once you have successfully downloaded and installed it, you then can open that browser. After opening the browser, here you need to look for Google Chrome Desktop. Now here is the app that we are looking for, which is Chrome Remote Desktop, not Google Chrome Desktop, but um, still you should be able to easily find it. And again, not to worry guys, I'm going to also provide you their direct link in the description of this video so that you can reach to this page. Now here you have got two options, either to share your macOS screen to someone or you can connect to any other computer. In this case, I am interested in the first option, which is sharing this computer screen to another device. So for that, let me click here on this option, which is download Chrome remote desktop. And once we click on it here, you can see it took us to download to this particular extension. So let me click here on add to Chrome and click on add extension. Now let me click here on generate code. Now we need to provide permission to Chrome remote desktop. So let's click here on open accessibility preferences. And you need to make sure that the Chrome remote desktop is enabled. And so this remote assistance host. Now you may require to provide your password to provide necessary support. Once done, now I guess we are good to go. And now again, I am back to the main site. So let me refresh it. And now again, let me click on generate code. And there we go. So this is the code that I require to access this machine. Okay. Which is like for a little bit of time. But in my case, I want remote access for longer duration for permanently. So in that case, I'm going to select this upper option, which is remote access. And now we're going to set up the remote access and it also says to allow remote access to this computer click on turn on so let me click on turn on and now you can give your device a name i'm gonna give it a name as uh probably psn and then i'm gonna say mac now let me click on next and then here you need to create a pin so let me create a pin here once done, click on start. Now again, you need to enter your password. After that here, we can see the remote access is starting. And after a few seconds, it should say started or something like that. Okay, so it says online. And it is also asking me to install the latest version of uh, Google Chrome desktop, uh, which uh, we of course can. Now, once this is done, time now came to move toward our iPad. So let me now show you my iPad screen. And there we go. So now you can see my iPad screen. And again, here I'm going to open Google Chrome. And here also we need to write the same, which is Google remote desktop. Okay. Now let me click here on this Chrome remote desktop. And now here, we need to log in through same ID and then we need to click on access my computer. Now here I can see that my Apple Mac mini is available. Now all I need to do is I need to make a double tap on it and then it will say it's connecting. Now here let me enter the same pin that we have created. Now after entering your pin simply click on go and there we go. So here I can see I can access my Mac. Now let me click here on Apple and here I can easily see this is Mac mini. And now here we have got so many options available. 
for example how many display we have connected so i have connected two display and then both display data can be seen together now let me again click on so single display and now here in this way you can access your personal system now in this way you know if you are connected to the multiple monitor setup you can also see what is going on in your one monitor and now again from here you can switch your monitors now seems like we can also install an app of it so let me type here app store now i'm gonna type chrome remote desktop and then here you have got further more options to interact with we can also do it full screen and it seems that in order to make it full screen now apart from going full screen here we also have got this high dpi mode that will further improve the way it look and then even we have got this option of you know if you want to interact with your device in 30 fps or 60 fps and then of course you're going to see all the small shortcuts are perfectly working with it so in this way guys you can access your macOS anywhere utilizing your ipad